Hi friends. So by now you have understood the uh, philosophy of teaching mathematics in a simple way. You have also seen the strategy that we would deploy. We have seen what skills we want to impart to mathematize the child. Now let's say you planned a chapter. Let's take for example uh, integers class 6. It's, it's, a, it's negative numbers. For the first time the child is being introduced to ideas that the child doesn't have concrete references very easily. He's always used to numbers being positive examples in real life around him. But integers, new new kind of abstract concept, child finds it difficult, negative times negative and all of that. So let's say you plan this chapter. Now what we need to do is you have to ensure what's the objective of the chapter. You have to go through the Khan Academy module. You have to go through your NCIT chapter. You have to do your research. You've reached your chapter expertise. Now we want to deliver this through a course. Now let's say uh, first thing you have to decide the objectives of the course. You go through that in your chapter, write them down and helps you have clarity yourself. Then you have to break this entire chapter into six sessions or more or less depending on the chapter, generally six. So for each session have clear objectives, take a concept, deliver it uh, as, a, as a trial. Um, you know, see what instructional strategy you will use for that concept. Let's say uh, introduction of integers, giving examples of integers in real life and representing these integers in the form of a uh, number line and, you know, the left side of the number line that's new for the child. This, this is one concept, which is introduction to integers. See how much time you take. Let's say it takes two pages of the chapter. You've taken 45 minutes, half an hour. And the chapter is 15, 16 pages. It means you might require seven sessions. So see that, have that calculation. Now, uh, once you have your done your trial of imparting the concept, it's important what instructional strategy uh, are you deciding, which we'll discuss later. But remember, the first session, there will be some introduction. The last session, if you have a course and quiz, there will be some discussion, some constructive feedback. Throughout the course, every session, you'll have a lot of interactions. There will be polls, there will be questions, there will be a little bit of chatting. You have students coming, let's say, a few minutes late. Uh, you know, you have to factor all of that. And uh, as well as it's not one-way delivery. It's not that you have delivered and that's it. It's a lot of interaction, questions, probing, doubt resolution. Factor all of that. You might get, you know, in an hour's class, maybe 35, 45 minutes for that one-way delivery, maybe more or less depending on how much interaction is required. So keep all that in mind and plan your uh, six, seven sessions, whatever. Have your objectives ready of each of those sessions. Uh, ensure your objectives are very clear. Only then will you be able to deliver that. Otherwise, uh, you might go haywire. And uh, ensure you have this ready. Once you're ready with the course objective, the session-wise breakup of what concepts you're taking and as well as what objectives you have, and then you can get back to us as a template you need to fill. Once we see that breakup of your course into sessions and the objectives, and once we have discussed and it's uh, seemingly good, then you can move ahead to building this course on the Moodle platform. As I mentioned in my first video, it's our LMS. You, you have to uh, get your uh, instructional content ready, whether it's a simple PPT or uh, whatever it be. It's preferable to have a tablet with a pen to write if you can arrange for it as well as it's if it's not manageable there are other ways we can discuss that later but uh, yes your presentation or whatever has to be ready as well as your quiz which we'll discuss in the next video but till now only your planning of the course in terms of sessions in terms of objectives and breaking up of concepts and you get back to us and then we get back to you thanks